Hello and welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how you can implement cart persistently using Vuex and in our Firebase e-commerce application. So in the previous video, we learned we can add a product to the cart and it will be there. And as soon as we refresh the page, it will be gone. So that is not persistent. Like the data should be persistent and it is not related only to the cart. It is related to Vuex uh, in general. Like if you are using Vuex in other projects and you have your data and as soon as you refresh your page, your data is gone. So you might know like how you can have a data that should be persistent across your website. With, uh, when you refresh the page, still you will have data. So I will show you how you can do that one using no plugin and just pure JavaScript. And there is an article in the alligator.io. If you want to check it out, this is the persistent Vuex state with Vuex. You can give it a reading, but they are using some plugins called Vuex persistent. I I used to use this one but in the past but this is a lot simpler if I teach you then using a plugin. So if you use a plugin it is going to tell you in your Vuex create a constant called Vuex local storage it will be a new instance of it and it is a lot like if you scroll down it will get like readers reducer I don't know how these these things are going to use I think that is uh, something very easy like you can do it with JavaScript by default they use the local storage so why not just use pure javascript so i will close this window and i will come to my application and let's try it so where you are going to write it when you add product to the cart it will be added to the vuex and it should save it in the local storage so where you can access the local storage if you open the in developer tool in your memory here now it is in the application so what you can do is here is the local storage so you can check all your data here and you can clean it so for now i have it here because it was already done here i will refresh the page and it is by default here you can remove it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to clean it so we do not have any data for now and you can check out like if i add a product to the cart we do not have we have only this one so let's see how you can do that one if i come to my application here i will close everything don't save it and just to collapse everything so you know where i'm going to start i will open the store.js here and i will scroll up here you know this is add to cart and it will save our data to the cart here so what i can do is as soon as you save it to the to the cart i want you is to save it in the local storage too so how you do that one here is our card like add to cart and this is the function and it will finish here how if you do that here and you need that more than adding here so you can create another function for it so what you can do is you can create a function called save data or anything oops it should not be svg save data and you know when you are in the mutation you have to always pass the state so you will have access to the state data now what you can do is you can use window dot local storage dot set item and the set item is going to accept the parameter if you check out this intelligence the first string is going to be the key and then the value so what is the key the key is going to be card whatever you can give it name and i will give it a name called card because this is our data here and the second parameter is going to be our data and it's going to be state dot card so for now you know if you write state dot card it will pass an object here the object node the array which contain all the objects so let's save it for now and let's call the state here and see if this is working fine i will show you step by step of when you get the error and what does that mean for now if i say how you can reference your function here you can use this dot commit and what is your function name save data now it will call your save data function here so far everything looks good so we don't have any error so if i check out my yeah compile successfully i will come to my application and let's see if this is working or not i will come down here if i add a product to the cart it did add to the cart and you can see this is our local storage and now you you have your cart 
but the card has a data called object object this is not what you want like it cannot add the object here so what you can do is you have to change your object to a string here how you do that one you can use json which is by default in javascript you can say json dot string fi state dot card and this time what this line of code is going to do is it is going to uh, change your json data to a string and now you can save it to the data to your card here so for now again i will just clear everything and scroll up let's add it again add product to the card you have it here and as you can see this time the value is a lot more readable if we click on this one this is a string now and as you can see this is product name and inside the product name you have the product and everything now you have this data right it means you can grab it from your uh, local storage the other way is you can store it in the cookie that is another way but i will use the local storage for now and just make sure uh, just remember this one local storage will not be supported in safari private mode I don't I don't know why they don't do it sometimes people find out how they can figure out but if you are in Safari and Mac user and you are in the private mode you cannot save data to the local storage that is like for security reason or something like that so now you know how you can save it uh, there and uh, next step is you can you should read those data for now the card is here and this is always empty on the first refresh so what I can do is I can set a conditional data here which data let us read it from database i will say let card equal to window dot local storage dot get item this time if you check out get item is going to string uh, ask for the string uh, by the name of the key the key is going to be the card if you check out again here this is the key here so by the name of card you can grab it and store it in the card here now what you can do is you can store it here right which is going to be the card and everything seems to be fine except why this is showing me the error declaration state dot i don't know it should work fine if i save it and let's see it compile successfully so that is the editor's fault so you know for the first time we don't have any data it should give us an error if someone is watching if someone is visiting our website for the first time there is no card so if there is no card nothing is stored so this should give us an error but for now since we have the data it should not give us an error so you should set a conditional value here i will use the ternary operator you know this is the ternary operator you can say card is equal to and how you do if you don't know about ternary operator this is basically you can say if uh you can say let value equal to and you can set a conditional value if something is true here you should show me otherwise you can show other show other for, i don't know like something like that so i will remove it for now and we will do the same thing you can write exclamation mark if you have card then show the data otherwise sit as a null or as an empty object this is something like that now this time when you read the data and from the card you have to change it so how you change it you have to say it should be uh you have to parse it to back to json because you store it as a string so this is how you do and you can say again using the json you can say parse and you can pass your card here that's it so if i save it for now and let's see if it compiled successfully no it didn't okay this is because we use semicolon here which you can't you can put a comma and this is a best practice to put a comma after your object in javascript not a json so you save it and i'll close this one coming to our application and this time it should work fine i will for the last time clear everything so we don't have anything and let's see I'm going to add this gold watch to the card. Oh, it is already showing the previous one. Even if I refresh the page now, let's see how it works. So we clear everything, but still now you, you have your card with, let me see, yeah, with two data here. 
so if I check out if I add one more product to the cart you can see three of them are here so now I don't have to add to the cart to see my cart I can add a button at the top right corner I think something someone suggested this one so I can put a button here to open our, our model for the cart to show up so to see everything is working fine so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my component in the nav bar you know we have our search here right so I'll close the sidebar and this is getting started what I can do is I can duplicate this line and this one should be cart mostly you put an icon here but I will say cart and the design should be info and everything is fine but the toggle data should be mini cart I'm not sure if the ID is correct but I think the ID was mini cart so this is going to be a model I will save it for now and let's see if it is working I if I refresh my page you don't have to refresh because you already have your button here if you click on the add to the cart it is showing your cart and it is showing all your product and as you can see everything is working just fine this is the first product second and third and now let's add one more to the gold and let's see if this is going to increase the quantity or not I will come down add to the cart yes it is increasing the quantity here and it is perfect now if I refresh the page still you will have access to those cart here click on the cart it is working fine and everything seems to be working just fine and this is how you use the data persistency now the next problem or no the, the next step is to remove them from the card once you have it there should be a way to remove like an X button to remove it also you should be able to read this one in your checkout here is your checkout and you if you if you visit the checkout currently yeah it is showing fine here because it is reading from database right from not database from your local storage so now it is showing here now the same way yeah there should be an X button to remove this one so I will do that quickly in the next video and hopefully we can jump up to using a stripe and payment in the future videos I hope it has been informative thank you for watching I will see you in the next video and I will upload it uh, maybe tomorrow thank you